Hello guys and welcome back to part 3 of my Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Last episode I managed to get my, well I managed to train up my Trico a bit more and get through the route up, um, in between Odale and um, this city, Petalberg. Um, sorry that I haven't done any um, grinding. It's because it was about five minutes it took to grind them up to these levels while I was filming it. So I just decided to cancel the recording and do this recording. Um, but post down in the comment section below to see because I want to see whether you guys think it's worth it. Um, taking five minutes out of my video grinding. Just just let me know in the comments. But anyway, quick team preview. Ziggy the Zigzagoon with Impish Nature. And he has got the pickup ability, and he has got decent attack and defense and special defense. So overall, he could be very useful against those more physically attacking and specially attacking Pokemon. Next Pokemon is Trico, hasty nature with the ability Overgrow, very well rounded on his especially on his special attacking and attacking side. With the moves Pound, Leer, Absorb. I forgot to mention about Zigzagoon. He learned he just learned Headbutt. Which is about 70 um, damage and it can cause flinching, which is very useful. And the last Pokemon I've got, and he evolved, is my um, Wurmple. He evolved into a Dust... Um, yeah, I think it was Cascoon, and then eventually evolved into this Dust Ox, which has got Careful Nature and the ability of um, Shield Dust. Has really good special defensive stats and defensive. And it has got the move Confusion which is a very powerful move for this stage of the game, being base 50. Anyway, let's carry on and go up into this gym because the lad on the left who encounters you says you have to go meet your father, Norman. All right, I'll, st I'll use the speed up button for this. Well, if it, if it isn't Sam, so you're all finished moving in, I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see, you're with your Pokemon. Hmm. I, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Sam. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Mm, I, I, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm. You're... Oh. Hmm. All right. You're Wally, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay with my relatives in Verdenturf Town. I, I thought it, I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm. I see. Sam, you heard that right. Go with Wally and make sure he ca that he safely captures a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Oh, wow, a Zigzagoon! Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball too. Go for it. Oh, wow, thank you! Sam, would you really come with me? Sam, ha ha Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Trying to give him quite a nerdy, rushed type voice. He uses a tackle twice, decides to throw a Pokeball and catches the belt. It's just a normal Pokemon tutorial. But anyway, I did it! It's, in my po it's my Pokemon! Sam, thank you! Let's go back to the gym! So how did it work out? Thank you, yes, it did! Here's your Pokemon back. Sam, thank you for coming along. You, you two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mum's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Sam. Now, Sam, if you want to become a po strong Pokemon trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustro si Rustboro City. Belo Can't speak today, guys. Sorry for that. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to other gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Sam. But that's only after you become stronger, Sam. So, let's go get our next encounter for Route 204. I'm not going to do a dupes clause for this. I'm just going to keep encountering until I find a new Pokemon. I keep finding Zigzagoon for some reason. I found Zigzagoon like five times in a row. This is getting ridiculous. Right, there's a Wemple. Right, I'm going to do a limit from five now. I'll, I'll make an executive decision, depending on how 
many encounters it's stuck already, so that's, that's two. Three. Still the same Pokemon. Encounter number four, still the same Pokemon, which I've already caught. And hopefully I'll find a new Pokemon. No. So I will skip on to the next area. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. So Billy wants to battle. Sorry guys that I've used the speed up button there. It's just that I've been used to using the speed up button for my off screen grinding. So I'm going to use headbutt despite being lowered on my attack. I'm going to use headbutt again, hopefully that'll knock it out. Because sometimes it doesn't look like about halfway the HP, but it actually is at these lower levels, but it didn't knock him out. Pointless using focus energy, trying to get a crit, because the battle is over now. I'm just going to skip these bits. Yep, nothing else there. She, don't, she won't give me anything. Two orange berries. I'll skip this bit. Here's the next battle of the episode. Oh, sure. I'll accept your challenge. You had a lot of money. So I'm going to get this guy up to level 12. And then swap Pokemon around. Sorry, they used the speed up button again there. It's just habits because obviously I've been grinding for like 10 minutes before the episode began. So let's see what we get here. I will skip this. Oh my god, I've just got a shroomish. That is absolutely amazing. Get in. That's a double tackle. That was close. Had I knocked that out, that wouldn't have counted for um well it would have counted for an encounter i don't normally do it when i'm doing locks on my own because i have been doing that a lot recently but and shroomish is caught so i'll grind him up um i grind him up to the same level anyway i'm gonna nickname him fisty cuffs if it fits in because i did use um well i did do a liquid crystal walkthrough on my own and i caught a Shroomish, and it was on this emulator, so I'm just gonna call him Fisticuffs in memory of that experience. Which is pretty cool, but let's see what nature this thing has. No, Ziggy hasn't got an item. Naive nature, not bad. It doesn't minus attack, which is good, and it's got absorb and tackle with the ability effect sport, which is also use useful in well, oh so useful in walkthroughs. Skip that bit. No, he's got nothing for me. Yeah, might have an item there. Yeah, I've got a potion. Right, I think this is where you can find the miracle seed in front of this here woman. And that's actually a Pokeball. I th yeah, actually, I've got just got a bit confused there. Um, later on in the Petalberg woods you can go through a little shortcut I think you need to use cuts so I think it's after the gym um because you can get it before the gym but you can't use it until after the gym um actually let's just swap zigzagoon with fisticuffs and I'm going to do a bit of switch training as I like to call it sorry for that didn't mean to go back on there Yes, I'm gonna have to skip this, guys, because there is a lot of Pokemon. I'm gonna have to knock out and switch train between. So, so I'm just gonna be switch training for this battle, and this is the only time I'm really gonna be using the speed button for battles is when the really long battles about six Pokemon. So, let's go back out into Fisticuffs. Um, but guys. Tell me in the comments section below. I know I haven't got many subscribers, but hopefully if you're watching this video, um, can you post in the comment section below 
what is your favourite Hoenn Pokemon? I'd like to hear that. Because personally, my favourite one is either Salamence or... Oh, I forgot what he evolves into with this Shroomish. It evolves into a... What's his name? I know what Pokemon it is. Breloom. So, that's why I really like him. And he's really good for the first Elite Four member. You can keep him alive that long. So, you can, effectively, you can get a um, Elite Four killer in your first few areas. So re recommend to you guys um, if if you're if you're doing not a lock necessarily, but if you're doing a walkthrough inspired by the remakes coming out, I would recommend to spend that extra time just trying to look for a shroomish. You might not get as lucky as me in terms of finding one quite early, but um, but yeah. Let's carry on. Oh, that would have been nice as well, Taylo. Let's do a bit more switch training. Would have been nice to get a swallow. That would that's what it would evolve into on level twenty one or two, um, which is very cool. So I just need to change the layout slightly for the next episode, guys. Um, but yeah, and we need to make one change to the layout. All right, let's get that potion. We recently just got. Hail Ziggy as well. Right then, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm. No, I'm not actually going to cut the episode short. Just going to go on and carry on with the, with the um, journey through Rustbro Forest. Or whatever it's Petalberg Woods, that's what it's called. I'm definitely gonna have to switch in a minute. Let's go back out to his. Oh, I'm trying to get used to the controls because normally I use the X button on my Blaze Black 2. No, me Vault White 2. And it's an egglock file which I've used from King Nappy, the YouTuber. Oh no, there's no PP left. Right, I'm just gonna have to go in at this. Good job, I used the um, stun spore. Right, there will be a lot of stall here, so that's why I'm just wanting to skip this, because he's using sun attack all the time. Right, I'm not gonna go through all this, it's quite boring. Give me a great ball, yeah, that's a nice gesture. Let's just get on this. So let's just carry on. And there's just one more trainer left in the woods to defeat. Sorry guys, went a bit too ham on the speed up button initially, just to try and get past the skipping bit. Um, yeah, keep forgetting headbutt to run out of PP. Yeah, let's just try and speed this up because I've only got limited amount of time to finish this episode because a match is about to start and it'll go over the YouTube limit. That very nearly was a dead zigzagoon. Fist across back up to the same level, nearly. It's got about two or three levels to go. Sorry guys if I'm just skipping the end of this video. Just so I can get out of here and save it for the next video. I'll use this effort on the, um, what's his name, Zigzagoon. And I'll take the item off him as well, just before the end of the episode. Just so you guys can see what item I receive. It's, a full, it's another full restore. That's what this ability is very useful for. It's very useful for getting potions and things. I may as well just use the full restore since I forgot it. And that will be the episode, you guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time in part four, when hopefully I could be getting up to the gym and maybe challenging Roxanne. So see you guys then.
Thanks for watching.